This is example 1.8-3. A tie down on the deck of a sailboat consists of a bent bar bolted at both ends as shown in the figure. The diameter DB of the bar is 1 quarter inch, the diameter DW of the washers is 7 eighths inch, and the thickness T of the fiberglass deck is 3 eighths inch. If the lavable shear stress in the fiberglass is 300 psi and the lavable bearing pressure between the washer and the fiberglass is 550 psi, what is the allowable load be allow on the tie down? So we are trying to find the maximum force P that we can have on the rope that is tied to this bar. And this bar is bent and goes through the fiberglass and has a washer on the other side. So this is important when we're talking about the allowable shear stress that shear stress acts on the surface of the cylinder going through the fiberglass and it is the diameter of the washer and so it acts on this on the outer surface of that cylinder. So I'm going to call this R shear area, A subscript S. And for our allowable bearing pressure, what's that talk that's talking about is area between the fiberglass and the washer. So basically the bottom surface of that same cylinder And that is our bearing area. All right, and let's write down our givens. So we have dB, the diameter of the bar, dW, the diameter of the washer, T, which is the thickness of the fiberglass, and we have our allowable shear stress and allowable bearing pressure. And then we are trying to find P allow. All right, and then following our homework formatting, we draw a line across here before we start solving the problem. All right, first let's talk about or work through the shear stress part of this problem. So we have our allowable shear stress and that is going to be equal to our so shear stress is force over area, just like any other stress. And for this, we'll call this force one. Um, so that'll be the force on one, one side of this problem. Um, but this is a symmetric problem. So we know that the force will just be P over two. So we have force over area and we need to know what our area is. This is the area that our shear stress is on. And as we talked about, this is the outer surface of a cylinder inside the fiberglass. And so the equation for that would be um, the diameter of our washer times pi times the height of the cylinder, which would be the thickness of our fiberglass T. And then, as I mentioned, our F is going to equal P over 2 because it's symmetrical and the force will be split evenly. So now when we substitute everything in, our F1 will be our P1 over 2. So I'm calling this P1. This is basically our allowable force due to shear stress. And then we'll find P2 later, which will be the allowable force due to the bearing pressure. And we will pick which one is more restrictive and that will be our P allow. So we have this over our uh, shear area, D2 
dw i t and we're trying to find p1 so we rearrange and we get 2 tau allow i dw t and this is equal to we plug in all the numbers 2 times 300 psi times pi 0.875 inches 0.375 inches and we plug this into our calculator, we get 619 pound force. And we give this a single underline because it is an intermediary answer, not our final answer. And now we move on to the part that has to do with the bearing stress. So we have allowable bearing stress and again this is going to be equal to a force over an area we'll call it f2 and basically this is the allowable force in uh, on one side of this problem due to the bearing stress and then our area is going to be our bearing area and that's what we talked about over here which is basically the area of a washer. So we have an outer circle and an inner circle, and we have to find the area between the two. And that will be the area over which the washer is pressing onto the fiberglass. So our bearing area is going to be equal to pi over four, d washer squared minus d b squared. So d w is the diameter of this outer circle and d b is the diameter of the inner circle. And again, f is equal to p over two. So we'll substitute this in and get, call this p two, which is our second allowable force that we're trying to find. And this is over pi dw squared minus db squared over 4. And we're trying to find p2 this time, so we rearrange. And now we plug the numbers in. And when we put this in our calculator, we get 607 pound force. So we have our two allowable forces due to our different restrictions, and we find the more restrictive one which in this case is P2, it's smaller. So we want to keep the force below 607 pounds so that we do not break the fiberglass basically. So our final answer, P allow is equal to P2, which is 607 pound force. This is our final answer, so we give it a double underline and following our homework format, we draw an arrow from the margin and put our variable in parentheses. And we end the problem with double underline across the whole page.
and we are done.